I'm going to show you how to round numbers to the nearest 10. The trick is always look at the units column when you're rounding to the nearest 10 because that shows you which 10 that number is nearest to. So if the units column has got a number that is 5 or more in it, that means you have to round it up. If the units column is less than 5, you need to round the number down. So for our first number, 238, the units is more than 5. So we've got to round the tens up. The three tens become four tens. So the eight units become zero, and the two hundreds stay the same. So 238 to the nearest ten has become 240. In the next example, we've got 483. This time, the units column is less than 10. So we need to round it down. The 3 units become 0. And the 8 tens remain the same. So do the 400s. So 483 to the nearest 10 becomes 480. That's because 483 is nearer to 480 and it is to 490. The last example we've got is 875. We've got a 5 in the units column, so you remember that means we need to round it up because it, it's exactly halfway between 870 and 880. But because the, there is the 5 there, we need to round it up. So the 7 tens become 8 tens. The 5 units become 0, the 800 stay the same. So 875 to the nearest 10 is 880. So you see, when you round a number to the nearest 10, what you're doing is you're, you're, you're finding the nearest multiple of 10 to that number. So you'll always end up with an answer that ends in 1, 0, or maybe more than 1, 0. Here are some more difficult examples of how to round numbers to the nearest 10. I'm going to start with 99. So we've got 9 in the units column, so that means we've got to round it up. So the 9s in the tens column will become 10 tens in the ten column. So that means we've got 100. So there's 0 in the tens. 0 in the units. So 99 to the nearest 10 becomes 100. As well as the 1 zero at the end, we've got two zeros at the end of that number. Let's try another one. 398. Again, the units column is more than 5, so we've got to round it up. When we go to the next one, there's already 9 in it, so that's going to round up as well. So the 300s become 400. So 398 to the nearest 10 is 400. Last one, 796. Again, in the units column we've got a number that's more than 5, so we know it's going to round up. But when we come to the tens column it's got a 9 in it, the 9 becomes 10. So the 7 increases by 1 to 8. So 796 to the nearest 10 is 800, because 796 is in between 790 and 800, but it's nearer to 800. So that's why 796 to the nearest 10 is 800.